everyone, my name is Emily O'Flynn and I am currently a senior studying strategic communication at Ohio University with specializations in media and marketing. So today I really want to talk about the internship I'm doing right now in New York City and what my interview process looks like and what relocating looks like. So right now I'm working at BuzzFeed as a client services intern and the way I Went about getting this position i went straight to the buzzfeed website and looked at their careers page and i saw two different internship opportunities open there was the pr intern and the client services intern and i knew that i had all of the qualities that they were looking for for both the positions so i applied to both of them um i really have to give a shout out though to my roommate gabby miller because i did not believe in myself that i could even work at BuzzFeed and so she was the one who really pushed me to apply to both of the positions. Two months later I was contacted by an HR recruiter saying we really liked your resume, we liked your application, uh, you're moving forward in the interview process. So from there they set up a one-way video interview which basically meant they sent along two or three different questions and I was supposed to answer them and send back the videos to the HR recruiter who would decide then if I would move on to the next round. So then about two weeks later, I was contacted again by the same uh, HR recruiter and they said that I was going to have a phone call interview with one of the client services managers. Lucky enough, I was in New York City at the same time the phone call was taking place and so one of the things that the manager said to me was, oh, you should really visit our office sometime. And I think she was joking, but then four hours later, I actually went to the office and I dropped off a thank you note to security at the front and I said, please give this to uh, the client services manager that I talked to that morning. And so I think that really diversified me as a candidate for the position because uh, after that, I was contacted again about two weeks later asking for a third interview. This time it was a um, it was a video interview with another one of the client services uh, managers. And so I booked a room in Alden Library so that I could really focus on what I was doing. And I spoke to this woman for about 30 minutes and then about two weeks later I was offered the position. Each one of the interviews was just me talking about my experience. There weren't any questions that really threw me off guard. Um, in regards to relocating, uh, I was really uh, independent through all of it with obviously the help from my parents, but uh, I flew here by myself and I had these two really big suitcases with me and my parents sent along three huge boxes worth of stuff that uh, helped decorate my apartment. But um, I'm in an apartment style dorm and I have one roommate and two suite mates and I really recommend doing this kind of living situation for anyone else looking to live in New York City or California or Washington DC for the summer because big city um, universities usually open up for intern housing in the summer. My dorm is about 10 minutes away from the BuzzFeed office and so walking to work is really nice. My biggest piece of advice for everyone is believe in yourself and believe in your skill set and be confident in what you're doing all the time because I definitely wouldn't have applied to this internship had it not been for my roommate Gabby who believed in myself and so just really know what you're capable of doing because I know that other people believe in you and I think that'll really help you go far. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about living in New York City or about how I got my internship at BuzzFeed, please feel free to reach out to me and I want to help you in any way that I can. So thanks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.